How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho, Klaus. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I won't even think about doing it again, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. Hey, then, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Hubert was gonna steal from you. He fucking what? I was gonna say you'd given him a bum lead and take the goods for himself. Hired a gang to make the story more believable, but they turned on him. They broke his leg. You don't say. <laughs> You're one cold bastard. I like you. <laughs> what? And half-assed Hubie. Well, you know what they say. Trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't tug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one, for balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. I guess, but isn't that a bit extreme? Well, he won't be gazelling across the rooftops anymore, but he's still got a shot at a pro arm wrestling career. But he insisted that I turn the stash over to you. So? Once a cheat, always a cheat. Duralex, Sedlex. 
The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Right. Any idea how many people half-assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. Feisty, I like it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? You're something else. Remind me not to turn my back to you or I might get stabbed. But you've still a lot to learn, boy. You think too much. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you are still alive, neither do you. Right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. I knew this old guy, Carl and Ellie. He used to live above the antique shop on the horseshoe. They were like 80 years old. They were still in love. 